Hi, I'm David Wiegener. This is a position from a book that I'm going to um, show you the the way that White wins this. Uh, eventually. So, this is the position. White's got a rook on a7 and a queen on e7 so and the queen is attacked by the bishop on g5 and this is the um, skeleton part of this position the bishop is attacking the queen on e7 on g5 the bishop and the rook is defending this rook is defending g7 otherwise if this rook wasn't here it would be queen g7 checkmate you see so, but the the rook is there on g6, so it prevents that. The other thing is, is that um, uh, if the queen moves, well, I suppose black cannot play rook here. It wouldn't be a good idea because of um, queen to g7 checkmate as you would appreciate because the rook is on a7 is defending the queen on g7 and there's nothing that can take the queen other than the king but it's defended by the rook so okay so we'll put the rook back there and the queen's been attacked on g5 so should by the bishop on g5 so should white merely move his queen out the way or what? Now, now I'm going to give you a real big clue. If this pawn isn't here, then this rook can move right down to c8, can't it? But it doesn't want to move there now because the rook can just take it. See, the rook can just take. And then, okay, white can get this queen f7 check. But then after king here, there's no further response. White can also play this check here. Bishop takes d5 check, which rook there is rather foolhardy because there's no real point and black would be met with queen g7 checkmate anyway. Or queen e6 check and then... Uh, if the king moves here, then queen takes rook on c8 is checkmate in two moves for the best defense of bishop d8, queen d8, queen e8 is the only defense, and queen e8 is checkmate, as you would appreciate. So, anyway. So if this pawn, if this uh, pawn isn't here on c6, okay, if this pawn is not here on c6, then one, white's got bishop d5 check anyway, but that's not what I'm showing you here. White would have this dramatic queen sacrifice, queen f8 check, King f8, and now comes the nice quiet rook c8 check. And it's only check because the bishop can go and pole 8 between the king and the rook check. So the bishop can come back to d8, but it's rather fruitless because of rook d8. So that's now I'm going to show you the answer to the problem. So black does not make white, um, white does not play queen away somewhere, but white and doesn't play the queen g7 check or queen h7 check because um, she has lost the next move. She White plays bishop takes d5 check. Now the only real sensible move for black here is cd5 
and then comes the Coeur de Grau, Queen F8 as before, King F8 and Rook C8 from C2 check and then the Bishop comes back to D8 and then Rook D8. That's my session for today, that's the problem for the day as well and I hope you enjoyed it and I hope it helps you with your your sight at the board.